everybody. You already said morning, haven't you? <laughs> uh, it's so good to be up here. I'm used to seeing little tiny faces that are about four, between four and eleven. So lots of big faces up here today, and it's lovely to be here. Um, just got my little my little prop here. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Um, and welcome to our harvest service. Lovely to see you. Um, and I'm just feel just so blessed by looking at all this. I was looking at it all and I looked at it on Friday night. The children started bringing it in at Quest on Friday night. And I just thought, wow, that's amazing. People are so kind, so generous. And I love the fact that we're overflowing. That's just amazing. People are so kind. And I know God will do amazing things with this. So thank you if you've bought Harvest. Thank you very much. Thank you to Quest as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed their song. We decided this year we would record them um, because we have so many lovely children coming on a Friday night who, for whatever reason, can't make a Sunday. So I thought it would be really nice for you to see. We chose that song um, because we just thought we, we do look to God. We look to God for everything. Uh, so we sang the song, We Look To You, uh, because we thought it was quite relevant for Harvest. So apologies about the sound, but I hope you got the gist of it. It's the, and the, bless the children. They're so used to it being very loud on a Friday night. <laughs> I think they were quite shocked by the, by the quietness. But thank, thank you anyway. Right, so harvest today so i thought we would start uh with a little game because i thought you can't go you can't come to harvest festival and not do something connected with bread because the first thing you think about with harvest is bread isn't it so i'm going to need a couple of volunteers and i know not many hands have gone up but when i tell you what you're playing for you might change your mind so today we are playing for none other than a bag of Maltesers, reindeers, of all things. I, I mean, nothing, nothing screams harvest better than a bag of reindeers. <laughs> Can you guess who forgot the prize and had to pop to the co-op this morning? <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> so you're playing for some chocolate. So this one. So who would like to come and volunteer? You've got to be tasting, so you can't be allergic to anything. So just if you are, if you are a kid, look to an adult, right? Okay, who shall we have? Let's see. I think we are going to go for, gosh, let's have a look at the back. Charlotte Matthews. And we will have, I was going to see if we could have a boy. Have we got a boy? Noah? You all right with breads? Yeah. You know your breads. Because you know, this, this is worth a lot. Come on then. Now, I was going to get you some chairs, but I'm going to make you stand. Okay, right. So one either side. Let's see how well they do. Okay, now... Just to make this a little bit harder for you. Do you want to come this side, Noah? Right, so to make this a little bit harder, we've got some lovely masks. Now, you've got to check these out, right? I'm going to be kind, right? Uh, I'm going to let you choose. Right, we've got a lovely llama. Who wants the lovely llama? <laughs> Go on, Charlotte. Be a llama. <laughs> Noah, you get the lovely... This is, this is Paul's sleep mask. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> is that all right? Can you see anything? Amazing. Okay, so here's how it works. I am going to give you some bread to taste, okay? All right? And you've got to try and guess what kind of bread it is, all right? If you get it completely right, you get 100 points, okay? I need some, I need some, some, some keepers. So this side, you're going to keep Noah's score. This side, you're going to keep Charlotte's score, okay? So uh, if you get it all right, you get 100 points. If you get some of it, 50 points, okay? So should we start? Right. Can I have the foot? Can you face the front just so? Okay. <laughs> right. Can I have the first one up, Sean, please? Okay. Right. Here we go then. Harvest. Harvest challenge. The game with no name because I couldn't think of one. I was going to call it the break off, and I didn't think that sounded very good. Right. Next one up, please, Sean. I'm going to hope I've got it in the right order. Here we go. Okay. Right. So here we go. Here is our first. Just give. Can I just get you to sanitise your hands? <laughs> they haven't been all good. Too bad as well. Here we go. Right. Here we go. First, no, okay, right, we'll go, we'll go for the, uh, the uh, okay, let's see if we can work out our first bread. Noah, there you go. Might want to have a little feel, Charlotte, there you go. You haven't got to eat at all. Let's have a little nibble, see if you can work it out. What do we think it might be? <laughs> Should we tighten this up for you? What do we reckon? Charlotte, got any ideas? Sourdough, oh, good, good. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Tiger bread. Oh, so nobody got it quite right. It's actually ciabatta bread. 
But we'll give, but you know what? We'll give you both fifty points for trying. That was good, good, some good tries there. Well done. Right, and the next one. Okay, right. Good old Sainsbury's. Right, you can put that down on the table. What you don't eat. Okay, right. Oh my word. <laughs> to thought this one out. Right, now this one, you might get a few clues if you feel it, okay? Bit of a clue if you feel it, then just break off a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Any ideas? Come, okay, right, let's see if we can narrow it down. White, bread, white brown, granary, seeded, any, any, any clues? What do you think? White, Noah thinks white, Charlotte? You both going white? Any ideas? <laughs> He's too busy enjoying his food. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you 50 points each for the fact that you got white. It was a lovely plaited loaf. You can take, you can take your blindfolds off if you want and have a little look. A lovely plait. Sainsbury's own as well. Last night. <laughs> you know, Sainsbury's had hardly got anything left. Don't go on a Saturday night if you want lovely bread. <laughs> okay, right. Blindfolds back on. Okay, next one, please, Sean. Okay, right. I feel like I should bring out the main course. Right, okay, Charlotte. Again, feel it. You might get a few clues in feeling it. Have a feel. Have a feel. You might get a few clues. You think naan bread? What, Charlotte? Pita bread. Oh, we got a winner. Pita bread. Well done, Charlotte. It is. But you were very close. 50 for Noah, because that was a really good try. 100 for Charlotte for nine. Okay, blind fast back up. Next one, please. Okay, right. Oh, my favourite. Okay, again, have a feel, because the texture might give you a big clue. Again, have a feel. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, what do you think? You both think now I'm red. Well done, yay! <laughs> yeah, it was. I felt like I needed to bring the ball tea out. <laughs> okay, you can pop that back down. Okay, you're all right, you can go back. I, I only put four up, so I'm going... No, we're, we're going to do one more. we we'll do one more, right? Right, this is just set in fact. I should, I should keep it... Right, last one then. Okay. I'm going to be kind of this one, because you did the whole thing. What? You haven't got to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Feel it, because that'll give you a really good clue. Noah? Bagel. Oh, well done. 100 points each. Well done. Do you like bagels? We used to have those at school when I was teaching. Every morning the kids would have them and I'd have, I'd have the leftovers. I used to love them. Thank you. <laughs> you can take your blindfolds off now. Well done. You won't need your lunch now. Mums and dads, you can thank me later. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Brilliant. So, do I believe... Was it Char Well done, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte, don't disappear without your reindeers. Are you going to keep them until Christmas? <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so, like, it, so, obviously, harvest, I thought of bread. But, obviously, when we think about bread, right, it starts its life. In fact, if I can have a picture up here. Our bread started its life in the field, didn't it? It started its life as wheat seeds, right? And then if you can go to the next, the next slide. And then the farmer gets his wheat seeds, doesn't he? And he plants them in his field. And I'm sure he plants them just like that. I'm sure he doesn't have any machinery to help him at all. I'm sure he plants them all one by one, hand by hand. But uh, do you know what? The farmer will plant the wheat seeds in whatever way that farmers do with some amazing machinery. Okay, and we can move on. And then, of course... God sends us some lovely sunshine. So he's given us the farmer, and he's given us the, the, uh, the strength to plant the seeds and the machinery. Then he sends the sun, and if we can move on. And of course, because we live in England, we get a lot of rain too, don't we? We're very lucky. So we get lots of rain to help our crops grow. And so eventually, we will have this lovely wheat, which will be uh, harvested and on, fr on Friday we watched a lovely harvest video and it showed us the farmer harvesting and all the things that you can harvest and I did not know this but apparently in England all the cucumbers that are harvested will go in, in a year 
will go around the earth, will circle the earth. I did not know that. The amount of cucumbers we harvest and the amount of carrots that we harvest apparently will go from here to the moon and back two and a half times. I did not know that. I, I, see, every day is a learning day. And, you know, we are so lucky in this country because we have so many things that we can grow and we have such great harvests. And we have to thank our farmers for these wonderful harvests. And we also have to thank God as well. But it's not just bread, is it? It's not just flour and bread and wheat. We've got all this lovely, lovely food here. And God provides us some lovely, lovely food. And just on the, on the back here... I've just picked out a verse, and it's from 1 Timothy 6, 18, and it says, Do good, be rich in good works, be generous, and be ready to share. And that's what I love about today. It's not just about, yes, we are thanking God for all these lovely foods, but we're not just thanking God. We are actually then sharing all these lovely things that God has given to us. So in a bit, I'm going to pray uh, for our lovely food, and thank you for sharing all this lovely food. Okay, so can we move on? please okay right i'm going to move on away from harvest away from farmers away from flour and uh, and all that planting and i want to move on to our uniform club you might think what on earth has our uniform club got to do with harvest well our uniform club started like a little tiny seed just over a year ago yeah. just had an idea yeah. that God wanted us to help the people in Womburn. This was before the cost of living crisis. So I, nobody else knew, really, that this was coming. We had no idea how, how much of a harvest we were going to get. Um, but we just started off with a tiny seed of an idea um, that we wanted to just bless people in the village. We did not know how it was going to go. We had no idea if we'd get money to do anything or whether we'd get any clothes coming in. I had horrible nightmares that we'd have all these lovely cupboards and there'd be no clothes to fill it and I'd just be sitting there with like one single shirt on its own. And, uh, and God has just done amazing, amazing things this year. He's given us money. We've had a, a big grant. So we've been able to build cupboards. We've been able to um, just sort so many things. Um, I've put pictures up there just so you can see some of the lovely things. We've got lots of jumpers, loads of blazers. We, we cover all the primary schools. We cover Womborn High School. Um, and do you know what? We're actually full. Our, our cupboards are full. I've had to buy extra rails. This tiny little seed has grown into this enormous harvest. We've served so many people over this summer. I can't even count the amount. I need to start counting because I've got to, because it's very important. Um, but I can't even count the amount of people that have come through either bringing uniform or asking for uniform. And this is just so important in today's day and age, this this harvest of uniform. Um, but what I've only shown you on here is the lovely, neat pictures. What I haven't shown you is the bags upon bags upon bags of stuff that needs sorting, which is where I come to my plea, really. Because to get this right and to give, give out to the community and to bless, just like we do with the food, we need a team and we need people to help because it's got past the point where I can do it on my own now. When it first started, I was like, oh, this is fine. I can come in each week and do a bit of cleaning or um, hanging up or whatever. And now it's just got enormous. And we want to continue to bless, to bless people in Womburn and beyond. So I'm asking, if you could just go to the next slide, please. So I'm asking, how can you help with this Uniform Club Harvest? So I want you to have a little think. And like Deb, I'll be around at the end with a clipboard. I have a clipboard here. Um, so have a think. Right? You may be one of these people who thinks, actually, I could give a bit of my time each week. Right? I, I, I like hanging up clothes. <laughs> who doesn't? I like hanging up clothes. So what can you do? You can just come in and hang stuff up. That, that is just a, an amazing job in itself, and it's so valuable. Um, you can iron clothes. You can take a few away and bring them back. A couple of days later, you can just iron stuff. I, I, I try and do it as I go along, but there's still a lot of stuff that needs ironing, just so that it goes out looking nice to people, because it's all kept in bags. Um, you can label items. We've got a lot of items that need labelling with sizes on. So if you think, actually, I can do that, I'm good with a pen and some labels, come and see me. Um, you can tidy up the amount. Unfortunately, we do get some stuff that comes in that's not good quality, and I would not send it out. So, unfortunately, I have to sift through, sort stuff out, 
So if you think that you can go through all that stuff, bag it up and take it to the recycling centre where they recycle the clothes or the one on the car park, that's another job that needs doing. Uh, there are lots of jobs that need doing and then we can get a really good harvest this year. So if you can spare an hour, maybe a week or a fortnight or a month, please, please come and see me because you would be so valued. Your time would be so valued and we would be so grateful and we would just see hopefully God doing some more amazing things. So as well as our wonderful food bank and as well as all the other wonderful stuff that goes on, we can see the people of women being blessed. People need it. Honestly, I didn't realise what, how real this was, this, this crisis. People really need us and, and, and need the clothes. Uh, so, yep, yeah, so if you can... Uh, if you can be a part of that, that would be amazing. Thank you. So, we're just going to finish with a couple of prayers. So I have two lovely girls. Would you like to come to the front? And they're going to finish. They're going to close in prayer for us. Dear God, thank you for the sun and the rain and for the farmers who grow our food. Thank you for the kind people. Help us to be kind and generous with what we have, helping others when times are tough. We ask you that you will bless the food brought in today and given to Kingsway Food Bank in the future. We pray for fair and just laws that ensure that those who are struggling have enough food to eat. Amen. Thank you, God, for our uniform club and for the provision that you have given to us. Thank you for the people who kindly donate their unwanted clothes. We ask you to bless our club and bless those who we help. Lord, please give us a team who will serve and be a blessing to others in our community and to Kingsway Church. We ask for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.